So if you've been watching this channel for a few months now, you would know that the Houston Rockets have one of my favorite young cores in the entire NBA. And they have some really good, interesting young talent on the roster, led by 2021 top 3 pick Jalen Green and 2022 top 3 pick Jabari Smith Jr. But there's another player on this team that has some incredible talent, but doesn't really get as much recognition as I thought he would have, and that is center Alperon Sangoon, who was drafted in 2021 along with Jalen Green in the first round. And coming out of the draft, he was seen as a guy who was really a sleeper pick, and the Rockets took full advantage and selected him 16th overall. As I would say, for the past couple years now, the Rockets have done some really good drafting, and Sangoon was just another product of good scouting from the Rockets front office. Sangoon last season during his rookie campaign showed off exactly why he was worthy of that pick, as he averaged nearly 10 points per game and 5 boards in just 20 minutes a night. But if you really want to get a deeper look into what his numbers could have looked like if he was a starter from the jump, if you check his per 36 numbers from last season, he would have averaged nearly 17 points per game with nearly 10 boards a night and 5 assists per game as well. Sangoon at just 19 years old last season had plenty of highlight caliber plays, whether that was his unique skills around the basket with his, with his footwork in the post, or he was throwing some Nikola Jokic-esque dimes to his teammates on backdoor cuts, or finding them in open spots around the floor for three. And when you watch him play sometimes, it might not really be the prettiest, sometimes it might look a little sloppy, but he for sure gets the job done. And those skill sets that I mentioned earlier are why Alperon Sangoon has the potential to get better and one day become one of the best bigs in the game. Sangoon has the ability to basically run an offense at times with his decent ball handling ability and obviously that ability to play make. But he also can hit you with a mix of jumpers and taking it to the rack like we saw plenty of times throughout the season as well, finishing over defenders dunking all over them, and really just putting them in posters at times. The only thing that I would say he could probably get better at is his three-point shooting, as he only knocked down 25% from beyond the arc last season, even though he barely attempted them shooting just 117 threes last season, which to be honest is fine, but I think if he can expand on his range, being a threat from deep, then it would just elevate his game and elevate the play from others around him. Then on the other end of the floor, Sangoon can really hold his own. Despite being an undersized center at 6'9", he really has shown that he can protect the rim with some really nice blocks around guys like LeBron James and others that have won at him. And he really has the chance to have potentially a breakout year this upcoming season for the Rockets, especially with the Christian Wood trade that went down earlier in the offseason when they sent him to Dallas that basically opened up a starting spot for him which shows that the Rockets recognized what they got, and now it looks like he'll most likely be sharing the floor with Jabari Smith, who actually fits really well with him being that Jabari is a floor spacer, not really a guy that can put the ball on the floor yet, but we all know he can knock down the three, and Sangoon, even though he can't shoot the three as good as Jabari Smith can, he does the opposite things. He can play make, and he'll find him in those corners and in those other spots on the floor for three. The Rockets have the headlining big names in Jalen Green and Jabari Smith, but all I gotta say is going into next season, don't sleep on Alperen Sangoon, as he has the chance to become a really good player in this league for a long time with his unique skill set. You look at the way the center position is trending nowadays with guys like Jokic, Embiid, others, you know, you look at DeMarcus Cousins when he was in his prime, he was similar a little bit with the way he played his style of, you know his style of play back when he was in his prime a lot of centers are like this now and Sangoon is just another product of the guys that came before him and now going into the next generation he really has that chance to blossom into one of those kind of players if he gets the right opportunity and i think the rockets will give him that this upcoming season with spots being more open the team is more younger now they you know they got rid of John Wall they got rid of guys like that I don't know if they still got Eric Gordon, I think they do, but I think he should be moved eventually. And right now, the Rockets have one of the brightest young cores in the game. I really like the direction they're going in. They got a lot of picks, you know, they still got those Brooklyn Nets picks on the James Harden deal. And you never know what could happen with those. Those picks can end up being major W's with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, both being guys that 
could potentially leave at any minute or get traded at any minute right now. So all in all, all I got to say is don't sleep on Alperen Sengu. It's going to be scary if he can really live up to his potential and really go into his prime being the player that he can one day become. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description below. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.